All right, in this video, I am going to address two of the most common questions that I get in the comments on my KP3 videos. One being, how do I update the firmware on my Chaos Pad? And two, how do I use the KP3 editor to basically use the KP3 as a MIDI controller, uh, change the preset programs that are up here in these pads, and change the scrolling text? Spoiler alert, I cannot figure out how to use the KP3 as a MIDI controller because uh, the uh, editor software does not see my KP3 when I plug it in via USB. It just doesn't work. Um, but I am able to change the parameters like the program, the, the preset programs up here, and I'm also able to change the uh, idle scrolling text and I will show you how to do that. It is the most convoluted, insane thing in the world. First, let's talk about how to update the firmware on the Chaos Pad, because why wouldn't we be talking about how to update the firmware on a piece of gear that was made over 12 years ago? Please note that you should be very careful about plugging your Chaos Pad via USB into your computer, because I have done it for the purposes of this video and I froze my computer several times and some really wacky things happened but uh, it is worth updating the firmware on your KAP3 because uh, there are some useful things like you have access to the mixer function if you hit shift in a pad you can change the volume of the different pads on your samples and then also you can change the triggering mechanism if you hit shift in a sample pad and then press this button, uh, the program button, you can toggle between the different ways that samples are triggered, which is pretty useful. You're gonna need a couple things, or you're gonna need at least one thing. The cable, and it's one of these cables, and if you do not have uh, 50 of these cables lying around your house, then I don't know what to tell you because I certainly do. So in order to update the firmware, you are going to need to plug this thing into your computer. Again, uh, be careful doing this. Uh, so once you have it plugged in, you are going to need to go to this website, which I will link in the description of this video. It is the system updater to uh, version 2.0 for the KP3. This is the original KP3, the Chaos Pad, not the KP3 Plus. This only will update the Chaos Pad. If you scroll down here, you have the package. They only support Windows. I have not found a way to update um, via a Mac. Click on this download it and then you're going to extract the package into um, wherever you decide to put it extract your zip file I have it in Korg kp3 and then you're going to go to system and it's worth opening this up just so you can see how this is done it is sort of a weird process um, be sure to read this. I will go through these steps in this video, but just for your own peace of mind, I would definitely go ahead and read this too. Um, go into the updater and you're going to double click updater. You're going to turn off your KP3 and you are going to hold down sample bank C, sample bank D, and the sample pad, and then you're going to Turn on the KP3 and you have this message right here that says IPL. You're going to hit OK. And then it'll say the driver will be installed. Hit OK. And mine is already saying that it's uh, software version 2.0. So obviously you're not going to uh, update firmware if it's already fully updated. Uh, if yours is not the current, the latest version, this thing will progress and I assume you will get a little message on the chaos pad and then you will then 
have access to those cool little features that are available in firmware 2.0. All right, let's talk about the system editor. I am going to unplug my USB because I am terrified of what it's doing to my computer when it's plugged in. I'm going to turn on my chaos pad and then we're going to look at the editor software, which is right here. And it comes in that package with the, with the firmware update. Basically what the way this is supposed to work is when you have your KP3 plugged in via USB, it sees it and you are able to basically use this as an interface on your computer to interface with the, the KP3, but it doesn't work for me. Every time I try to transmit, I'll show you, uh, it just does this, even if it's plugged in or not. KP3 is not found. It, I just, I can't get it to work, but I do have a workaround, but you're gonna need something. <laughs> And it is one of these. Let's go. This is an SD card. And I'm sure that most of you guys are familiar with this. You know what this is. But here's the funny thing about the Korg Chaos Pad and SD cards. They cannot be over one gigabyte. <laughs> you cannot use an SD card with the Korg KP3, the Chaos Pad, the original Chaos Pad, with a uh, memory card that is over one gigabyte. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how you can use a one gigabyte SD card. I'm gonna plug this into my computer and you will see that I have a couple programs up here. These are KPG uh, files. These are global data files. So what you can do is you can go into the global thing here and you have some options. Um, you can go into your program memory and you have options here. You can select what all your uh, defaults are gonna be on the program buttons up here for quick access, which is kind of nice. Um, but I have gotten the question, how do you change the pad scroll text? And you will see it is right here. So uh, let's just come up with something clever uh, to put in here. Let's say um, beans, beans, sure. And what we're gonna do is we're going to save our global control and then you're I'm gonna name it three okay so now we see that three is in there and then I am going to close this I'm going to take my one gigabyte gigabyte SD card I'm going to throw it into the kp3 and then I am going to go to load in a card uh, and I am going to go to global and I have one, two, three, because those are the files that I have on there. And I'm going to hit three. I'm going to hit yes. And it is going to load. And then it says end. I'm going to hit shift. And then I am going to go to, uh, pad led, pad led, illuminate. Oh yeah. This is these programs that you have. And then I'm going to go into character, right? And then you're going to see when this thing idles out, it's going to say <laughs> beans. Honestly, that's probably the most useful thing that you're going to get out of the, K the Chaos Pad KP3 editor. But, you know, like I said, you can kind of save your uh, presets here. So you can have quick access up here, which is kind of nice for your favorite ones. So that is how you update the firmware on your KP3. And that is how you use the KP3 editor to update your kind of global settings. Hope this was helpful for you all. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one.